a new comet. A new doomsday story. Dun, dun, dun. There are many doomsday stories out there. The one for this year is a comet, which is, uh, I'm not sure if you pronounce it as Ison, but it's basically I-S-O-N. And people are claiming it's going to hit us, or it's going to cause this, it's going to cause that. There are people already predicting earthquakes and shifts, like they did with Comet Elenon. Open the pod bay doors, huh? I've been doing some research on this, and I think we've been lied to by NASA. Ah! Biblical signs are being seen this time in the heavens. Get a cup of coffee, let me share it with you. Get a Bible, we're going to go to King James Version. We're going to go to Luke, chapter 21. I don't know what you're talking about, Hal. I went to watch in 2013. That's the headline. And what is this? This is an October 4th broadcast from NBC and Brian Williams in which they're talking about Comet Tyson, which is scheduled to show up next November. The theory, of course, that we only know about 10% of the, the huge ones, the threats. Uh, and we virtually have no idea of the small threats, like the one that went undetected, the recent impact in Russia. You know, what would we do uh, if you detected... Uh, even a small one, uh, like the one that uh, that made in, in, uh, in Russia. Without your space helmet, Dave, we're going to find that rather difficult. William Potter is not mine. We advance the technology such that three weeks will not be something that causes us to panic because we will be able to respond. But in the end, we'll see what happens. I personally don't think there's going to be anything that kicks off. I think that's a bullshit idea. A bit like the 21st of December 2012 was. People make up a bunch of pseudoscience and connections. And they want you to believe in it. Why? Because of science? No. Because they believe it. Or because they're trying to promote a book. Or get you to donate towards their forum. What is Dr. Evil? Gentlemen, in a matter of hours, a meteor will crash into Earth, causing a global flood. That is, of course, unless you pay me one billion gajillion fifillion shabadoodle million shawnee gawashly million. Buy t-shirts on their website. So you will have people saying, okay, it's not going to be the end of the world, but... It's going to cause massive earthquakes. The thing to remember with many of these people saying many of these things. They're the people who were wrong last year. In 2012. They were the people who were wrong. At least in many cases in 2011, 2010. And some of them go all the way back for a decade. Preaching bullshit. So take it with a pinch of salt. Don't get carried away, that's my advice.